Bright green environmentalism is an ideology based on the belief that the convergence of technological change and social innovation provides the most successful path to sustainable development. Topic. Origin and evolution of bright green thinking The term bright green, coined in 2003 by writer Alex Steffen, refers to the fast-growing new wing of environmentalism, distinct from traditional forms. Bright green environmentalism aims to provide prosperity in an ecologically sustainable way through the use of new technologies and improved design. Proponents promote and advocate for green energy, electric automobiles, efficient manufacturing systems, bio and nanotechnologies, ubiquitous computing, dense urban settlements, closed loop materials cycles, and sustainable product designs. One planet living is a commonly used phrase. Their principal focus is on the idea that through a combination of well-built communities, new technologies and sustainable living practices, quality of life can actually be improved even while ecological footprints shrink. Around the middle of the century we'll see global population peak at something like 9 billion people, all of whom will want to live with a reasonable amount of prosperity, and many of whom will want, at the very least, a European lifestyle. They will see escaping poverty as their non-negotiable right, but to deliver that prosperity at our current levels of efficiency and resource use would destroy the planet many times over. We need to invent a new model of prosperity, one that lets billions have the comfort, security, and opportunities they want at the level of impact the planet can afford. We can't do that without embracing technology and better design. The term bright green has been used with increased frequency due to the promulgation of these ideas through the internet and recent coverage in the traditional media. Topic: <laughs> Dark greens, light greens and bright greens. Alex Steffen describes contemporary environmentalists as being split into three groups, dark, light, and bright greens. Light greens see protecting the environment first and foremost as a personal responsibility. They fall in on the transformational activist end of the spectrum, but light greens do not emphasize environmentalism as a distinct political ideology, or even seek fundamental political reform. Instead they often focus on environmentalism as a lifestyle choice. The motto, green is the new black, sums up this way of thinking, for many. This is different from the term light green, which some environmentalists use to describe products or practices they believe are greenwashing. In contrast, dark greens believe that environmental problems are an inherent part of industrialized civilization, and seek radical political change. Dark Greens believe that currently and historically dominant political ideologies sometimes referred to as industrialism inevitably lead to consumerism, overconsumption, waste, alienation from nature and resource depletion. Dark Greens claim this is caused by the emphasis on economic growth that exists within all existing ideologies, a tendency referred to as growth mania. The dark green brand of environmentalism is associated with ideas of ecocentrism, deep ecology, degrowth, anti-consumerism, post-materialism, holism, the Gaia hypothesis of James Lovelock, as well as support for a reduction in human numbers and or a relinquishment of technology to reduce humanity's effect on the biosphere. More recently, Bright Greens emerged as a group of environmentalists who believe that radical changes are needed in the economic and political operation of society in order to make it sustainable, but that better designs, new technologies and more widely distributed social innovations are the means to make those changes, and that society can neither stop nor protest its way to sustainability. As Ross Robertson writes, B. Right green environmentalism is less about the problems and limitations we need to overcome than the tools, models, and ideas that already exist for overcoming them. It foregoes the bleakness of protest and dissent for the energizing confidence of constructive solutions. <laughs> <laughs> T 
Topic: International perspective. While bright green environmentalism is an intellectual current among North American environmentalists with a number of businesses, blogs, NGOs and even governments now explicitly calling themselves bright green, for instance, the City of Vancouver's strategic planning document is called Vancouver 2020, a bright green future. It is in Northern Europe, especially Scandinavia, Germany, the Netherlands and the United Kingdom, that the idea of bright green environmentalism has become most widespread and most widely discussed. For instance, the official technology showcase and business expo for the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in Copenhagen is called Bright Green in reference to this idea, while the Danish youth climate activism movement is called Bright Green Youth equals equals see also